Hello, we got a little bit of a project going on today. A friend of mine says he has lots of grass in his pasture and he has a couple miniature heifers, or part miniature heifers, and he was wanting to use my miniature bull. And I asked him uh, if I could bring my um, herd of horses over here for about a month to let my grass in the pastures get ahead so that I could start my rotational grazing. And he said that'd be fine just for using my bull. So right now I'm bringing our two miniature cows over to, to see his pastures and see what it's like. And we're gonna turn them loose with his herd. And then in the next day or two, we'll bring my whole herd of horses over here. Everybody but Image and maybe a couple that we're riding will come over here and then um, we'll start working on our pastures. So this farm is just up the road from us and from our farm it takes about 10 or 12 minutes to get here. He was supposed to be 11 months old in December. So this is actually the little bull calf that we got at the auction where we saw Oliver for the first time. And then we had gotten the little cow from a friend of ours. So a few weeks after this, the owner of this farm actually ended up buying the bull and cow from us, which kind of uh, worked out perfectly for us. Um, they were both happy there and we were wanting to get some sheep, a little flock of sheep. And we knew, unfortunately, that our pastures couldn't handle the horses, cattle, and sheep. So we made the decision to try a flock of sheep out instead of the mini cow and bull. <laughs> and they're just down the road, not far from us, and they have a really wonderful home. So after we got the cow and the bull settled in, we drove around and looked at his farm, uh, the pastures, and checked everything out. And of course we have to show you our little livestock guardian puppy who came that day. Uh, this is Maggie and she has grown so much since this video. We'll have to get a new video of her. All of his fences were very well maintained and looked really good. Uh, so there were no worries there. He actually had a couple really beautiful lakes, um, a lot of waterways. He had a creek and a couple springs. Um, so there was plenty of water for the horses, no worries with that, and plenty of grass. Uh, his property was just really beautiful. Uh, he has a couple different pastures um, and trees that wind in and out. The horses will be very, very happy here. So this is the next day, and we the had to catch ones. all the horses up to take them over there. And Becca made a beeline to catch Ozark first. <laughs> she loves her little horse. Oh, and that's Miracle. She's being a little bit bossy right there. <laughs> Cute and pregnant. She's got to have a little baby, though. So this was about two and a half months before Ozark had her little full happy. And if you haven't seen the videos of Happy, uh, the birth of her, uh, make sure to go check those videos out. Ron, come. Up. Get in here. So it actually took a while to catch all the horses. I think we took a total of 12 or maybe a few more over there. And we actually ended up having some camera issues. Uh, the battery went dead. One of the scenes wasn't recorded. Uh, then the camera was forgotten on a trip over there and then it got dark out. So we kind of failed at um, recording all of this, but we did end up getting them all over there. Uh, it took multiple loads. Our trailer only fits three to four horses, depending on their sizes. Uh, so it took quite a few loads and it was very dark by the time uh, it was all finished and done. A couple weeks later though, we went out there for a visit and took the camera uh, so you could see them out there and see um, how everybody is doing. You're getting so big. Oh, no, it's gonna be so Hi, babe. The first one's on a... Yeah, the first one You're getting so big. Look at that baby belly. <laughs> oh, I didn't Hi, Sonny. Oh, Hi. Hi, sweet girl. Hi. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Oh, How are you doing? Hey. Look at my pregnant one. Oh, look at Ozark. He's so tiny, pregnant. You got a tiny baby belly. Oh. Yeah. Oh, she came right up to you. Just watch everybody. Hi. Hi, lady. Hi, pretty girl. That's boots. Hey, buddy. 
So this is Boots. Uh, we have a video out of his birth from last year when he was born that a lot of you have seen and commented on. <laughs> he was born a really unique, beautiful color, kind of like a gray muted color. And I think in this video, he had been weaned from his mama Tootsie for about a month and a half, and he's doing really good, just been out with the herd. Oh my goodness, Shibley, your belly's so big. Yeah. Oh my. Look how much better the paint looks. A lot better. So here is Classy, and this was just a couple weeks after putting her out with the herd. And she's still looking kind of rough here, but she looks way better than when we had gotten her. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with her? She was lucky. She called me and said she's been holding her tail up like that all day. The owner of the farm actually checked on our horses every day for us. It was super nice. He would count them for us and make sure everybody was okay. Uh, this day, hurt? though, he thought um, Patty, our mare, was acting kind of strange and holding hey, her tail up weird. Hey, so we on? wanted to check on her and make sure everything well, was okay. She just pooped, so. Okay. He okay? Her eyes watering a little bit. Yeah, something. You not feeling good? She's doing okay. Yeah. She does look like something. I don't know. Well, if she had just pooped there, that's why she had a tail up, so I'm not too she, concerned about that. She likes to keep her tail up. <laughs> yeah, she does that a lot. Yeah. She looks okay, though. Probably just uncomfortable, too, from being pregnant. Mm -hmm. She's doing okay. Come on, you follow us? Come on, Patty. Yeah, so by Thursday, you probably will only have about nine more. So all the horses seemed like they were doing really well. They seemed happy. Everybody was healthy. We came back over the next few weeks and checked on them here and there. And then our friend was also checking on them daily, so which we were really grateful for. And um, the whole situation just worked out really well. So during this time, while the herd was at the leased farm, our stallion image ended up passing away uh, from old age. He was 27 and his heart just gave out. But because he passed away, we were then able to bring our stallion Bob back home. When we had gotten image, we just weren't set up to have more than one stallion and we didn't want to sell Bob. So we leased him out to an acquaintance who had some mares that he wanted bred. And in exchange, Bob got to stay there on his pasture with those mares. This video is of when Bob just arrived home. Becca and JR actually had to drive the four-wheeler out our road, our county road, to get him uh, about two miles because it had been raining and raining nonstop and our road was flooded and the trailer couldn't um, drive through. But thankfully, they were able to get around with the four-wheeler and so they just uh, pulled Bob behind the four-wheeler and brought him home that way. Hey everybody, this is my other stallion. His registered name is all looky here now. <laughs> otherwise known as bob he's out of patty that's a little low on his nose uh he's out of patty our old show mare and southern playboy we just got him home when i bought image i didn't want to get rid of him because he's really my buddy and i really like this horse um so i leased him to a farm that had several brood mares and he just got delivered back from that lease so i haven't seen him in a year yep. but he literally is mine my buddy like a dog i can call him like a pet dog and he... once bob arrived home we gave him a bath and we dewormed him even though he's obviously healthy we just don't want to bring any extra parasites onto our farm oh didn't stay up trying again he's a unicorn how undignified oh, very nice bob very nice after his bath and getting him all brushed out, we let him stand in the sunshine and get dried off and warm, and then we put him out to pasture. Okay, guys, he's super clean. So let's look for him to go right over here in the mud and roll. <laughs> That's my guess. Hey, lady, Whoa. sit down, bud. He's think, super fresh. I think he's he gonna go right, hold on, let me get the gate. Yeah, he might run and buck a little bit too. Oh. Told you. <laughs> I was right. Bob. Goodness. Don't want to see that side. Yeah, the bath wasn't so much to get him clean as it was to make sure he didn't have parasites. So. 
Wow! Whoa. Oh, Piney, Piney. Piney, come here. No. Oh, look at him. Definitely more of a stallion now. Well, he's just a young boy yeah. and he's had a cold bath, so he's feeling his oats, man. Gonna roll again. Yeah, and he's fat and <laughs> springtime. He's dog on GoPro, you Ooh, can't hardly boy. see it. Just a little side information for you. Bob is the sire of Boots, the little fool that we saw earlier in this video. And then he's also the sire of our fools that were born this year, Happy, Lakota, and Rain. He also has a few other fools from this year, super cute fools out of other mares, our friends' mares that are not ours. Uh, but you can see photos of those fools on our Homestead Horsemanship Facebook page. Bob definitely seems happy that he's home and we're happy he's home too. Hey everybody, we're going back today to get the rest of the horses. I think there's eight more to pick up. And uh, I got my buddy coming to help me, um, the guy I'm riding the horse for, but he's driving a Ford. So we're having to go five <laughs> miles an hour underneath the speed limit. You know, he's got a 2020, you know, brand new Ford F-250 and it can't keep up with the Silverado. <laughs> Driving it like I stole it. Chevy still owes me that new truck. Everybody keep on them. So we actually got a few of the horses the night before, so we only had one trip with the extra trailer uh, to make oh, on this Patty, day. you got so big. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Hi, Hi guys. Yeah. You're not ours. Oh. Hi, buddy. Look That's at so your good. fuzzy here. Oh my oh, goodness. Yeah. Hi Jesse, look at that big old baby belly. Oh my goodness, how are you? Oh, shedding off. Oh, big old belly. Yeah. So our two mares, Jesse and Patty, uh, are very pregnant, and uh, we wanted to put them in a different trailer from Hi, the Patty. other horses just to keep them a little bit safer. Sweet old girl. So in our trailer, we're gonna put Classy, Boots, Champ, and Lady. We were all ooing and aahing over Isaac's horse, Lady, how much she's grown up. She's gonna be two years old this spring, and man, yeah, she's, she's just like really stunning. Your babiness is leaving, Lady. We're gonna start riding this summer. You're so gorgeous. This is Isaac's horse. Champ and Boots gave us a little Champ bit of trouble old. loading up, but this is only their second time, I think, loading into a trailer. Uh, so they both did really good. We just had to give them a little time and be really patient, and eventually uh, they got up into the trailer. With a young horse like this, you don't want to rush them um, or overwhelm them. You want it to be a positive experience for them. Uh, so you definitely want to take your time. And they have to think about it. Wrap their minds around what is going on and what you're wanting. But eventually they both got up in there with a little push and a little shove and a little encouragement. Push on him, man. Boy. And of course, Jesse Good and Patty girl. loaded right up. They Good had no mama. issues with it. Uh, they're old pros. <laughs> so at this time, Jesse and Patty are getting really close to foaling. They're both due the middle to the end of June. So once we got back to our farm, we just started unloading them and putting them back out to pasture. Baby. What happens next kind of shows how careful you need to be in a herd of horses and how dangerous it can turn very quickly. Oh man, Lucky's going to be hurt now. He's right in her face. A herd of horses is always kind of acting out like that. It's nothing new. But um, when you're mixing horses and putting new ones, even though they all know each other, you're putting new ones in to pasture um, that, you know, they haven't been together for a couple days, they're always going to act out like that. So you always need to be very careful um, and be aware of your surroundings. Lucky got kicked by Classy pretty hard, but uh, she was okay. She didn't seem phased from it um, or sore or anything. We checked her out, and she was fine. 
The last of the horses to unload were Lady, Patty, and Jesse. Oh. As nice as it was to get the horses off the pasture so it could rest, we were glad that the horses were finally home. Sadly, the whole time that the horses were gone, uh, we actually were in a bit of a drought and we didn't get any rain. So our pastures didn't really get much grass growth at all, but at least we had the blessing of the horses not being on the pastures and them being completely ruined from the drought. But now, at this point, rain has picked back up, um, so we're out of the drought, um, so we're very happy and relieved about that. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to our channel, uh, and if you want, you can check out our Patreon account. The link is in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, and God bless you all.